good morning children i hope you are doing fine today we will start fourth chapter sorting materials into groups children we see so many materials around us like some are round in shape some are square in shape some are hard some are soft some materials are shiny some materials are not that shiny they are dull some materials they are very soft to touch and some are very fluffy so these materials so many kinds of materials they are everywhere you can find them everywhere when you look around uh, around yourself you will find so many objects around you having different shapes different color and even different uses so we'll study about sorting of these materials sorting means classifying or Uh, segmenting these materials into different groups according to their uses according to their colors according to their uh, you know according to their shapes and sizes so let's start objects around us we have seen that our food and clothes have so much variety in them not just food and clothes there is such a vast variety of objects everywhere we see around us a chair a bullock cart a cycle cooking utensils books clothes toys water stones and many other objects all these objects have different shapes colors and uses look around and identify objects that are round in shape a list may include a rubber ball a football a glass marble if we include objects that are nearly round a list would also include objects like apples oranges and an earthen pitcher that is ghada suppose we were looking for objects that are edible we might include all the items that we have listed in tables 1.1 1.2 1.3 in the chapter 1 we might also find that some of those round shaped objects we listed we just listed out are also in this group you can see as you can see in the picture that is given in your chapter there are so many objects some are round some are oval in shape some are square in shape some are rectangular circular so these all these objects are different in shapes in sizes in colors let us say we wish to make a group of objects that are made of plastics Bus- buckets lunch boxes toys water containers pipes and many such objects may find a place in this group so now we have started sorting materials into groups to so, ek hamara group ho gaya plastic humne plastic ke heading ke niche bahut sare humne jo hamare paas jo objects hamare day to day life mein hame nazar aate hain jaise ki buckets hoti hain lunch boxes hote hain toys hote hain water containers hote hain pipes hote hain aapke pencil boxes hote hain आपके शार्पनर्स होते हैं पेंसिल शार्पनर्स होते हैं कभी कभी आपके बैग्स में भी कहीं ना कहीं प्लास्टिक यूज़ हुआ होता है तो ऑल दीज मटेरियल्स कम इन अंडर द ग्रुप प्लास्टिक्स देर आर सो मेनी वेज टू ग्रुप ऑब्जेक्ट्स बहुत सारे तरीके हैं ऑब्जेक्ट्स को ग्रुप करने के इन द अबव एग्जाम्पल्स वी हैव ग्रुप ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द शेप और द मटीरियल्स दे आर मेड फ्राम ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट्स अराउंड अस आर मेड अप ऑफ मोर one or more materials these materials may be glass metal plastics wood cotton paper mud or soil can you think of uh, more examples of materials here we have been given one activity in this activity they have asked us to collect as many objects as possible from around us each of us could get some everyday objects from home and we could also collect some objects from the classroom or from outside the school तो इस एक्टिविटी में हमें क्या बताया है हमसे बोला गया है कि आपको जितने भी ऑब्जेक्ट्स आप पॉसिबल हैं अपने आसपास के इलाके से अपने आसपास जितने भी आपके मिलते हैं ऑब्जेक्ट्स पाए जाते हैं उनको कलेक्ट करना है और हमें कहीं ना कहीं से अपने जो डेली ऑब्जेक्ट्स हमारे ज़िंदगी के लाइफ के आसपास हैं हमारे घर में हमारे स्कूल में क्लास में वो हम कलेक्ट कर सकते हैं और हमारे कलेक्शन में क्या क्या हो सकता है चॉक हो सकती है पेंसिल और नोटबुक रबर डस्टर अ हैमर नेल सोप स्पोक ऑफ अ व्हील बैट 
matchbox, salt, potato, we can also list objects that we can think of but cannot bring to the classrooms. For example, wall, trees, doors, tractor, road, etc. So, these are all the things that we have enlisted in the classroom. We can't bring them to the classroom. We can't bring them to the classroom. We can't bring them to the chart or board. But these are small things like matchbox, salt, pencil, spoke, spoke of a wheel, duster, rubber. So, we can collect them in small places. Now, we separate all objects from this collection that are made from paper or wood. This way we have divided all objects into two groups. Now we have divided objects which we have collected from our neighbors. We can divide them into two groups. One group has the objects that are made from paper or wood while the other group has the objects that are not made of these materials. Similarly, we could separate the things that are used for preparing food. So, in this way, we can make different things and different utilities according to groups bana sakte hain. Let us be a little more systematic. List all objects collected in table 4.1. Table 4.1 is given here. Plate, steel, glass, plastics, ya kuch bhi aur kuch bhi. Pen, plastic ke ya metal ke. So try to identify the material that each one is made up of. It would be fun to make this a large table. Collecting information about as many objects as possible. It may seem difficult to find out the materials out of which some of these objects are made. In such cases, you can discuss with friends, teachers and parents to identify the materials. So children, now you must have understood how can we separate the objects or the things according to the materials they are made up of and we can group them according to the materials like we have given the example of plastics, we have given the examples of wood, paper or the things that are not made of paper or wood. So this is all for today. This topic ends here. For the next topic we will come with the next video. Thank you children.